What's up, cat crew? Looks like today the Moonfire Fair has started, and so let's go ahead and take a look. If you go to the upper decks in, uh, I don't even know how to say it, uh, Limsa Lomen... <laughs> Limsa Lomensa, or Lisa Lamasa, <laughs> uh, Linosia, um, there's a quest here. It's this one, Unreasonable Chills. If you go up to Mayu... Mayuru Moyuru, he has a quest for you. Uh, this is Mayuru Moyuru will stop at nothing to see that you enjoy the seasonal festivities to the fullest. This quest is available for a limited time only. Oh, that's right. Uh, just so everybody knows, um, it's from August thirteenth today to Thursday, August twenty sixth. I believe if you do this quest, you actually get a mount, or at least you have the ability to unlock it. Um, so yeah, this year we've also been tasked by none other than Master Gigaruju, or our ever-generous patron of the event, with creating the ultimate icy dessert to stave off the heat. We'd more than welcome the aid of a skilled adventurer like yourself, and needless to say, we'd reward you well for your efforts. Have you, if you'd be willing and be able to lend a hand, simply hop over to Costa del Sol and speak to my colleague, Haramega. Harmarger. So seasonal event quest accepted. Let's go. Unreasonable chills. Okay, so we gotta hop over to Coast of Dale Soul. Teleport over there. Now I've actually never experienced uh, the Moonfire Fair before, so I don't know exactly all that's available. I know uh, currently the items that I have seen there is a, a like a food dish it's grilled corn and it it gives you a lot of buffs like it'll give you a plus four percent crit hit bonus plus five to vitality gear durability is plus three XP bonus is plus three percent so that's like a pretty good you know food and there's also um, which is probably part of this quest, Costa del Hielo. It's a delicious chilled dessert created by the confectionaire Nekeke. This icy treat is both refreshing and easy on the waistline. So that's good. And it looks like it gives the same stat bonuses as the, the grilled corn. And then there's also a Moonfire stall mask, or a Moonfire mask stall. So you can have, uh, if you have like a house or property, you can put it outside of the house. You know, zhuzh it up a little. But here, let's go check it out okay let's fly away okay so it looks like you arrive and oh yeah it's looking like there are some bears here and I I'm willing to bet there are so many people here that they're yeah they're not letting in but everybody's got a bear which, by the way, is the other reward for this event. Uh, it's your very own Blizzard Bear that isn't in World of Warcraft. All right. Welcome, friend. I hope you enjoy the fe the festa. Wait a minute. That's adventurer's garb. If I ever saw some, did Maru Ma <laughs> Mayaru send you to help with our confectionery challenge? What do I do? I do? yeah. And how glad I am to hear it. God's honest truth, we're in a bit of a bind here. You see, though we've been tasked with making the most delightfully frosty dessert, we are suffering from a lack of all-important ingredient. Ice. The shipment was supposed to come in bells ago, but word has it it's been held up by some disturbance in the area. Might you be so kind as to check with my associate... Oh, I don't even... <laughs> Pobanyo? Po and see if she knows anything further. She should be just to the east of here, over on the beach. Okay, so, uh, literally, what? You couldn't walk over here? This is the all of what, like a hundred feet? Like 30 meters? Some ridiculously small there? Oh, okay, it's got a cutscene for it. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. Hi, it's me. I'm a cat girl too. You want to be part of the cat crew? Or you just want to, you know, like, tell me where the ice is. What's that you say? 
Hunter Magas sent you to me to ask it. Oh, okay. To be honest, the situation is something of a complicated one. As you may have heard from this year's festivities, Master Gurgishbu has bleh, has imposed us a rather daunting task, preparing the finest frozen dessert the realm has ever seen. He promised us that he would spare not a single gill to see the deed done, so we decided to enlist the service of one of the realm's most prominent confectioners. And well, all well and good to this point, yes? As it turns out, the confectioner was a hopeless perfectionist, insisting that the only only the finest ice in all of yours here would serve for her creation. She hopped on the next vessel to the northern seas. That sounds like, uh, not worth. And that's, the and that's the last we saw her. It's not that I fear for her life, mind you. Pardon the pun, but she's one tough cookie. That said, the festivities are all upon us, and if she doesn't make it back soon... Ye gads, that poor girl's drowning out there. What? Oh, man. Oh, no. It's a little... <laughs> glub, glub, glub. Just... She's not that far. Yeah, just go get her. What are you... Don't talk about it. That garb, yes, it's her, Catalina. That's Nakeke, the self-same confectioner of whom I just spoke. We must help her at once. Yeah, let's stop talking about it and go help her. These are precious seconds. She's not getting oxygen to her brain. <laughs> I'm coming, little Lala Phil. Wait. Okay. So it's got to load up here. I don't have um, Final Fantasy currently on my solid state drive. And it really shows because things take a little while to load up. Wow, that is a lot of people. I think everybody out here trying to get that bear as quick as possible. Okay, there's the quest. By the way, if you need to click on a quest giver in a crowd like this, if you hold down X on a keyboard, it will make all the names disappear. You can click on it a lot easier. It's better that way. Let's turn that up a little. Oh. Oh good, we saved you before you drowned. I'm, I'm glad we didn't just talk about saving you. Ung. Ung. Oh, Nakeke, you've come back to us. Thank the gods. Obanyo, is that you? Why? I'm back in Costa Sol. You are indeed. Whatever happened to you out there? Were you swept away in a storm? Tossed from your boat by some eldritch whore from the depths of the sea? I fear my memory is still hazy, as I remember we sailed to the northern seas where, after braving the elements and some vicious fiends set on making a meal of me, I succeeded in procuring the most pristine ice I've ever laid eyes upon. Which is probably really not needed, or not necessary. Well, I guess in your eyes it's necessary. We began the journey back, and just as we were approaching Costa del Sol, it's no use. The only thing I remember is our vessel capsizing, and my body being flung from the deck along with my hard-won supply of ice. Well, that's like salt water, so it's like, that ice is probably gone. But at least I made it back in one piece, and I have you and your friend here to thank for that, Pobanyo. Piobanyo? I don't know how to say that name. There are bears right there behind you. Uh, that... <laughs> oh, my dearest friends, you two survived the shipwreck. Why, I, could, I couldn't be happier. You're friends with bears? That's pretty awesome. I'm not even gonna lie, that's really awesome. These creatures are your friends? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? We met on one of the isles up north. I shared some of my treats with them. The next thing I knew, they were following me everywhere. They're gentle and strong. The most perfect companions, really. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a friend with that cute little bear face? Alright, that's enough of the touching reunion. My precious ice is scattered all about the place. Go round it up and bring it here, on the double now. And they understand English, or whatever, grrr, or whatever, the Orzian language. Ah yes, the most common language of the universe is English. Wow, those bears work fast. I was like a mama bear, and a papa bear, and a baby bear. But it's like they don't want porridge, they want ice cream. Well, would you look at that?
What are you... I mean, I still think that unless those crates are super sealed, I don't think that they would have survived that. Oh, lucky day. The seals are intact. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the ice inside undamaged and unmelted. That means only one potential rub. A rub? Dude, what? Yes. As a matter of fact, the ice you see is everything I hoped it would be, which is why it was rather uh, it was rather to my charge and when I later discovered that a dreadful fiend slumbered in the rather large chunk of ice that I had loaded onto our vessel. Oh man, there was like a monster in What? How does it okay? Yes, it's all coming back to me now. As we neared Costa del Sol with the balmy winds drifting and I heard a dreadful rumbling coming up from the cargo hold. I rushed down to investigate, only to see the fearsome creature. It appeared rather perturbed by the heat, and it suddenly began to swell larger and larger, until... BOOM! It would appear my own carelessness was the cause of our unfortunate incident. Fortunately, my furry companions and I have survived the shipwreck, as has my stock of the purest ice. And yet, I fear that the fiend will be back in search for the icy home I so unceremoniously stole from him. Whatever am I to do? Well, you're in luck, because I kill monsters. Have no fear, my, de my dear Nakeke. In fairs over the years, my friends and I have fought off more bombards than you can shake a stick at. Why, Bombard Buster could be my middle name. Now, let's go appraise Harmega of the situation. Surely he'll have an idea as to how we can deal with the menace and kick the festivities off with a bang. Yeah. Oh, the bears! The bears are so adorable. They're all little paws waving. Oh, it's got some some good Costa del Sol jam. Oh, there's a lot of people here, aren't there? Oh god. That's why it's got it's gonna take me forever to load through this. We'll just we'll just wait for it. I guess that's the achievement that you probably end up getting. Okay, so we're still here. Saga Hermega. Hermega. It's just load screens for me. If you have a faster computer, it's probably a lot more enjoyable. Let's see. Ah, Catalina. I was wondering when I might hear back from you in Bobonio. And I see our star confectioner has joined you as well. Pray tell, how did you fare? Yo, it was whack. I made friends with bears. Oh dear. So while the ice has been safely procured, a blustery bombard of behemoth-like proportions has been produced alongside it. No doubt that has something to do with the panic screams I heard coming from the beach. You heard panic screams coming from the beach and you just were like hanging out selling fair food? But not to worry, after all. What is the Moonfire Fair if not a season of blasting ill-tempered hot-headed balloons out of the air? And I know just the person to assist us in the effort. Just a moment now. Say no more, Master Hamaga. I stand ever at the ready, my friends. Wh who goes there? Wait, it's an open field. Oh, nice. Surely you've heard the tales of Thracy, brave leader of the Bombardiers, and Bane to Bombards the realm over. Or perhaps you haven't. But no matter. <laughs> Pray rest assured that I and my companions will see safety return to your beaches. Bagu, Bago too, has come to save the day, and he has brought his fun little toys, trinkets, trifles, toys. Oh yes, Bago has brought his toys. They go boom. I'm just a guy, and I'm Rufaltia. I may still be new to this adventuring business, but I promise you that what I lack in experience, I make up for in pluck, pluck, spirit, and er, determination. This whole mess was all my fault, and it's still so many of you have come to my aid. How can I ever repay you with a bear? Give me one of the bears. Nonsense, my dear. 
The ice you brought was at our behest, and all, and all will be forgiven when you fashion for us the most delightful frosty dessert Master Gegger Ruju has ever laid eyes on. Besides, the exploits of bombard busting adventures are sure to bring even more good publicity to the guild. That settles it then. Let's get out there and show that oversized ball of ice that the Isle of Endless Summer is no place for his ilk. I mean, yeah, he, he brought him here. I feel... Pete is gonna be so mad transporting animals to different locations and then killing them. The fate of Blizzard of Bombards can only be completed as a disciple of war or magic, which is just good because I am one of those. Yay! Okay, so. Go over here. Do, 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 do. Is this way. I'm assuming... Okay, so the fate pro... There are a lot of floating bears. Um, I did not expect to see floating bears. I know every mount can fly in this game, but there are many floating bears. Oh my god. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so... This guy's like, I'm on an airship, but they're on bears! I'm oh yeah, there's a lot of people out here right now. I mean, it is only like a what, like a... Like a... Little less than two week event. So we'll just, we'll just wait here for the fate. And hopefully this many people don't just immediately destroy it. Oh, is that it? That looks like it could be it. It's a blue Bombardi thing, but I don't see like a fate. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alright, alright. And then you just kill the ice bomby boy. Which should not be hard with this many people. Holy cow. Is there like something I'm missing? I don't see... Oh, okay, I'm gonna plug that in. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me just kill him. It doesn't look like it's too hard or anything, but... Which is nice. You wouldn't want, like, a festival quest to be super difficult, I'm guessing. But what do I know? Maybe there is... Oh, okay, Glaciate. Oh, that's like super big. Okay. Did I not see that before? Or. Alright, cool. And fate complete. I got a fair voucher. Sweet. Okay. Alright, let's fly back over to. Whoa. There is a lot happening right now, and that horse is definitely not okay. I think everybody running back at the same time. It's taking a little bit to load, but. I'm actually surprised it's not, like, lagging or anything with this many people around. Uh, I've played a lot of World of Warcraft, and when you bring this many people together, it usually starts, you know, destroying things, but... And this game does it really nicely. The look of relief and supreme satisfaction on your faces. Am I to surmise that you succeeded in driving off the most bayful bombard? Indeed, and we scarcely even broke a sweat in the doing. Isn't that right, Bobanyo? Quite so, my friend, though I dare say it wouldn't have been nearly so easy without Catalina at her side. I can't thank you enough, my friend. Well, oh, I am pretty great, so, you know, it's cool. Don't even worry about it, I, you know. And yet we must remain ever vigilant, for there is no telling when the dread creature's friend may return to seek their revenge. In any event, the Isle of Endless Summer is safe for now, and that is what matters most. You truly are heroes, all of you. Well, all's well that ends well, I say, and with that I say, it's time we retrieved our supplies from the beach. 
Splendid. Just you wait, my friends. Nakeke is going to prepare the most marvelous dessert this realm has ever seen. I mean, it's just shaved ice, right? Yay. Complete. Nice. We did it. Alright, so after that it looks like there's going to be another quest. But I like the little little bomb things. Little floaty bomb things all around. Just gotta wait for it to load in. Yeah, there are a lot of people out here. Like a lot a lot. Give me the ice cream. Oh, that's the quest. Okay, Nakeke has a mind to whip up the finest frozen that you've ever laid eyes on. Oh, Catalina, I can't thank you enough. Were it not for you, I'd have been too busy running for my life to even think of making Master Gegaruju's dessert. But all's well that ends well, and finally I can get down to what I was brought here to do. I promise you I'll be done before you know it. So why don't you and Pobanyo entertain yourselves for the time being? Ah, and while you're at it, perhaps you could call Master Gegaruju as well. I'm sure he's more eager than any to see Masterpiece take form. Okay. Can do that. Well, wait. Is there like a mold or anything? Oh, okay. It's not good. There are so many people here. Ah, Catalan, it's truly impressive that you chased off that bombard. Why, one would ever imagine that this was your first time taking part in the festivities. Thanks to you, I think we can safely say the guilds put on another impressive show this year. It's only a matter of time before our halls are overflowing with aspiring adventurers. Talk about making the best of a bad situation. Okay, we don't need to... We're just gonna... I appreciate the bard's enthusiasm, but no thanks. Speaking of which, I heard Nakeke's nigh done with her delightful creation. I don't know about you, but I'm most eager to taste it myself. Believe it or not, I have something of a sweet tooth. Word... And then, Pobanyo. Ah, Catalina. Again, I thank you for your efforts in helping us dispatch the bombards. To think that such a calamity would befall us on the eve of the festivities. But, pray, don't be too hard on Nakeke. She meant only to please, as she always has. Oh, in all the confusion, I forgot to mention, but she's actually a childhood friend of mine. We used to play together by the shore, and one day we were set upon by a vicious monster. We thought we were done for, but we were saved in the nick of time by a kindly adventurer who swiftly dispatched the beast and whisked us away to safety. That's when I vowed that one day I'd serve the guild and repay my debt to the brave soul who rescued me. Well, that's nice. Meanwhile, Nakeke was a genius in the kitchen since she was just a girl. She chose the path of a culinarian in hopes of filling the bellies of adventurers all over with nourishing and toothsome snacks. In the end, she found her calling making sweets as opposed to some sort of hearty meals that you and I might favor, but that's rather fitting for her. She's always had an independent streak, after all. In any event, she's positively overjoyed that her latest creation will be presented front and center at the fair for adventurers all over to enjoy. More than anything, I'm just glad she's back with us, safe and sound. You literally were watching your childhood friend drown, and you did, like, very little. <laughs> you were just like, oh no, that's our... That's the guy making the thing. Well, I guess we better go over. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So. Okay, I'm assuming there's a bunch of people here too right now. Oh, okay. There's not that many. Come on. Oh ho! If it isn't our ever resourceful, and oh so forgiving adventurer, we so ignominiously tasked with the gathering ingredients for our banquet. That's me. I did that. What's this you say? The fiends have been dispatched, and my prize dessert is ready for the ta for the taste the tasting. Yeah, why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I just came when I was to you know I do whatever. Just come get your stupid ice cream. I don't mean that ice cream is amazing. It's not stupid. All right. Let's see. Now we gotta wait for it until everything to load in again. I guess we can enjoy the festivities of the gold dance. Man, yeah, that. Okay, so there is like a little bit of lag going on here because there are so many people. I have never seen this many people in one area in this game yet. 
Except for like maybe when I it first uh, or it first launched when I first started playing uh, like a month or two ago. All right, here we go. Oh, it's you. You couldn't have come at a better time. I was just putting the finishing touches on my masterpiece. Pray, wait for just a moment, won't you? It's another cutscene. We're gonna bring it up to volume. Oh, that looks awesome. I would eat that. Adventure, Eorzeans, fairgoers, friends, I am most proud to present my latest creation. I call it Costa del Hielo. Hielo. And I promise you that it will please you. Something. Yay. Happy goblin clap. And to make sure that it doesn't melt as well as to help all of you stay cool amidst the scorching heat, I leave you with a present from my furry friends. Is he just gonna like throw up a roar? Oh, whoa, what? The bear casts magic? Yay! And everybody was in agreement that it was super good. Ah, Catalina, well, did my dessert agree with you? After all the trouble I put you through, I, one can only hope so. It was more than worth the trouble. Now that's a relief to hear. If it has provided you with true refreshment after all your travel... Why, as a confectioner and culinary, nothing would make me happier? Travolus? I don't know how that word was, so I just stopped reading it. Speaking of which, I had meant to tell you, ever since you chased off those bombards, my little friend here hasn't been able to take her eyes off you. Just look at her face. It's as if she's saying, oh, misadventurer, what I wouldn't give to join you in your travels. That's adorable. Aww. The bear likes me. Oh, truly, how kind you are. She'll be most wonderful company on the road. I promise you that. And with that, I'd best get back to the kitchen. After all, adventurers from all corners of the realm have come to taste my latest, greatest creation. Until we meet again, a happy moon fa fire fair to you. And a happy moon fire fair to you, too. Bye. Neat. I've got a bear friend. Rawr. We gonna be best buddies. That's so pretty. Oh, nice. And complete. And so that's how you get your bear mount from this uh, <laughs> this current event. Thanks to your efforts, peace has returned to the beaches of Costa del Sol, and festivities can commence in earnest. That is, until the Bombard Menace rears its ugly head. You may now purchase wares from the Moonfire Fair Vendor. Participate in the Fade, appearing in the southeastern region of the fairgrounds to earn vouchers that can be exchanged for goods. Oh, okay, cool. So you can actually, like, you can buy the other items if you want to go further into it. But once you have that achievement, it looks like you get your bear. So, let's, here, let's bust this bear out. Where are you at, bear? Oh, you gotta, duh, you gotta use the item. Come on. Alright. Let's bust out this bear. It's just a straight up polar bear. Oh wow, nice, an invisible mount and stuff. No, I'm just kidding, we gotta wait for it to... Wait, what, it gives you... Oh, and you even get a cool emo. Okay, that's awesome. And you stand on the bear and you're like, yeah, I'm super cool. I stand on a bear, Wee. <laughs> and I think the best thing is the bear runs through the air. The bear flies. Who doesn't love a flying polar bear? But yeah, that's how you get through all that. Uh, feel free to subscribe and join the cat crew. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Help growing the channel if you stuck it out this far anyway. Um, other than that, have a great time and be sure to check out all the other stuff I'm doing. Other than that, I hope you have a great time. And yeah.
Oh, you can't actually. Well, this is embarrassing. Ha! Uh, get it? Embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, it's just not doing it because. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe.